broadcast. We are live. Whoops. Hey. I double tapped it with the camera. Okay. Oh, hi. It's Barton Phoenix in Darth, Texas. Well, so quickly. I know. How do you guys get on there so quickly? It's it's your Periscope notifications. Yeah, but you figured it would take them a couple of seconds to get on. <laughs> I know. Well, it does. Well, it goes to Twitter. Yeah. Right? You guys, did you guys see it via Twitter? I'm right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys are fast. fast. So, wow, it's like you're ready waiting. Yeah, real racy Stacy, Mrs. Rev W. Yay, how exciting. Michael Nip. Hey, hey guys. Our usual suspects. It's awesome. Wow. Kay Dominic. It hasn't even been Thank a minute you. yet. Yay, you know what we're going to do before we start our show? We're going to open up, <laughs> unbox our bit, our myth. Our, our, yeah, why I, can't I think of the word? Blu-ray! Um, I never got the whole thing about unboxing and letting people watch you unbox. Oh, we're we're, oh, we're okay. periscoping anyway. <laughs> they figured we'll, we'll wait until you guys are here yeah. too. Ooh, thanks for sharing. We appreciate it. Share on Twitter. Yay! All right, so, yay, Racy Stacy. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, footballer. Okay. Are we ready? We are ready. Are we ready? Okay. Four blue. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin has four Blu-rays. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you All may right. want to watch it four times. Okay. Am I doing this? Yes, you are. Me? Go ahead. You're Stay on target. This. You're letting me do this. Uh oh. Go ah. ahead. Go ahead. So you, you take that side, and I'll take this side. Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't rip it properly. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, one from each store. <laughs> so, which packaging do you like the best then, since you've seen them all? And which version? Yes. That's what I want to know. Because we, we got, we wanted the Target one because the bonus ton content, but it's like so flimsy. It's kind of, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, the regular DVD had that the extra slip cover. Yeah, which is nice. Walmart, the BB-8, yeah. Uh, we figured we'll get this one, and when the steel book oh, goes steel on, book. on uh, sale, then we'll get all the other ones. Okay, we're taking it here. Yeah, uh, you take that. Okay. Uh, Ready? Oh. Oh. And now, this is something you always have to do with new Star Wars things. When you open oh, it, smell. you have to smell it. Um, nothing yet. No? That, okay. Now, is it me, or do you guys oh, smell all this? your new stuff? Oh! It's our... Ooh! I better not show that on... Oh, I better redeem that. That was our code. <laughs> no one share the code. No, it is... is yeah, I smell everything. Okay, that's... that's <laughs> since I was a kid, you always had to smell your new things. Yay, pretty. I bet all of you who are watching have their own. <laughs> yes. But, you know what? Okay. So we're gonna. I smell everyone else's new stuff. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Yeah. Um, Especially with those those Kenner toys. When you open up the package, you just you can smell the paint and the glue. Yeah. It's always been That's a staple. So pretty. Yay. All right. Are you ready? Ready. Should we open it? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. He's yeah, still yeah, creeping. You have to smell Final it. Filmation. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's. I feel like I'm show, reading a book and showing it to kids. You know, like you read each page and you you show them. Look how pretty that is. It's Ray. All right. Are we ready? Let's what? open up. Oh, yes. Just, I, I, I didn't see it, it yet. In. I'm sorry. We're taking it in. It's so cool. Here's right. the back. All right. All right. Oh, ooh. Whoa. Han it's, and the princess. It's the headshots. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And then, who do we have on this side? Oh, ready? Oh, oh, yay! Oh, uh-oh. But Poe was denied. Where's Luke? Luke! <laughs> that's oh, pretty Poe's neat. Right there. Oh, po wow. There's Luke. But that's awesome. Wow, look at that. So, so Kevin, you got four copies. One Ooh. from Walmart, Target, so exciting. Best Buy, where else? Uh, Disney Store, maybe? Star Wars Mike. Hi, Star Wars Mike. They didn't have enough room, I guess, for Luke. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Disney. Ah, uh, Disney Store. I, I was now, right. How was the Disney Store different? I guess the Disney Store has the... Whoa. Uh, has the, the prints, right? Okay, you know what? There's there's discs in here, but it's... Mm. Oh, this kind of packaging. Yeah, I don't it's know about this. You get four lithographs. Yeah, that's uh, true. We have too much paper stuff, though. That's the thing. All right, so... we Here's one. Yay, look, it's Ray. Which one is that? Typical Disney or lift the This is the DVD. Okay. So this is our DVD, so the one we won't be watching, right? And this one over here. Oh, look, it's, it's the VHS tape. Ooh! No, it's got that awesome photo from 
Here, show So, me. the VHS tape has got the the first read-through. Hey, hey. There you go. <laughs> so, look, Star yes. Wars Mike says, hey, hey, like you hey, said. Hey, hey. Let me see. Hey, Kevin, which one has the VHS? I'm curious. Yeah, me know. Jake going from sign mug shot. <laughs> okay. And the laser oh. disc. The laser disc. I'm I'm old school. <laughs> Did we get the Betamax and laser disc? <laughs> I remember laser discs. My dad had one. We had ooh, nice. That's awesome. Look at and where's that. the read along LP? Wow. Narrated by Roscoe Lee Brown. So this is the Blu-ray. This is going all over your head. I'm just, I'm, what? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> what we're opening. I'm not trying to make quickie I'm, clips. I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know what? I'm going back old school because our oh, our God. episode 116, we talked to Craig Miller. Now Which he was the, episode. yeah, he was the director of publicity and director of fan relations for Lucasfilm back in the 70s and 80s. So, Ooh. ah, can't wait for this. Wow. Okay, cool. Hot Topic Let's has the picture this. disc, vinyl soundtrack. Ooh. What? Picture? Oh. Of The Force Awakens? Wow. Huh. That's exciting. Yeah. All right. So, now with that opening. With that opening. Are we going to get into our show now? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, and Michael Nip says, yes, it's amazing looking. The Hot Topic uh, vinyl? Yeah, I don't know if he was the one who mentioned it before. <laughs> hey, where did you get your Here. carbonite door? Oh, yes. Oh, that uh, was made by special. a friend of mine. That's not, that's not uh, it's for not consumers. Really for sale. Yeah. Yeah, it's not commercially available. I had a yeah. friend who. It was custom made, custom who painted. We did some unsavory things. Yes. Here, can you scoot your chair over though? Because I switched. All right. So that that is a a real the pull curses. from <laughs> the real Han Solo sculpt. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. All right, to give you a little bit of insight into has, how we do this. Has everyone here seen the Han Solo door? Oh, well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if you showed it to them. Richard has a finger. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a lightsaber, a lightsaber <laughs> on the <a> band-aid. <laughs> Once more, Dark Taxes wants to just double tap. Okay. All right, so there we go. Oh, these are the... Uh, Gifts, the from gifts right, caricatures the from the Hunt family. Show the door. Okay. <laughs> Show the door. All right, there's our wedding picture right yeah, over there. It's so pretty. So, what did you guys want to see? I, I forgot. The bathroom? Is that what you wanted to see? The bathroom? Okay, what there's this you... there's this guy walking bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Don't show him the bathroom. That, that's a mess. And, uh, oh, yeah, the door. <laughs> there you go. Yay. There's the Han Solo. Han Solo! Oh, whoa! What are those little cameras? Are those likes? They're little, not hearts anymore. Little purple the cameras. There we go. Oh, you can tap the camera. Oh, now they're hearts. Aw, Dark Tax is shared. Thank All you, guys. Right. So there you That's go. That's our door, and it's big, because I can go like this to it. <laughs> and she does this every night. This. Every <laughs> single night. See, it's about the right size, right? Yes, it, yes, it is. <laughs> Han Solo. Just gonna guess which finger opens up the door, but that'll be another periscope. <laughs> All right. What did they say? Camera screenshot. What did they say? Camera screenshot. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, hi, Joey. All right, come on in. Not disturbing at all. Why would that be disturbing? Go to our studio. There we go. Okay. Oh, so it says flip it back. Do you want to flip it back? Yeah. yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Yay. All right. So for those of you who may not have seen our uh, podcast uh, before, our, our setup. So we have, let's start with this. We've got the zoom. La, la, la. Everything's plugged in. Our mics, uh, are these dynamic or cardioid? The cardioid. They're, they're cardioid. Uh, oh, whoops. But we got the wrong channels checked. All right. Better channels. We are mics one and two. Yay. Okay. 
<laughs> and they are plugged into our mics, which are from Radio Shack. Just so you know. And, okay. So, which are great. These mics really um, drown out any other sound. We love taking them with us to events, because even if it's pretty loud outside, uh, or, you know, people are talking around you, it really isolates the sound. So we like that. Okay. Oh, we don't need our... We don't need this. Mm -mm. Okay. We only need these for when we're interviewing guests. Darth Texas says unidirectional? No. They're cardioid. Okay. So they record in a big heart shape. Well, is it... You, okay. I don't know. I don't know what the mics are called. Just point your mouth at it and speak. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, I should check. Okay, levels. Let's see. On. All right, is your mic on? Why are these levels? Why am I so low? Hello, hello? Oh, I've, there we go. I've been coming in very, very low. No, you have. Okay, uh -huh. you try. Uh-huh. You try speaking. Speak, 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 speak. I know you're going to talk speak. louder than that. Speak, speak. I talk very, very loudly. Very speak. loudly. Okay, there. That's better. All right, are we ready? I we ready. are ready. All right, you guys, we're going to start recording episode 116. Woo! And then where do you, should we stop it right after the things you want to share? Sure. Okay. Yeah, because that's when it starts to get, yeah, okay. Well, then everything after that has already been pre-recorded. Right, right. Yeah, we already pre-recorded some things. Okay. All right, are we ready? <clears throat> you guys ready? You guys ready? All right. I think they are. They say likes. Okay. okay. Love All it. right. All right. Go. Action. And here we go. This is what you can look forward to on episode 116 of Skywalking Through Neverland. Hey, hey, Skywalkers. Happy Force. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was yours. Oh. <gasps> we forgot to turn off the sound. Someone forgot to turn off the sound. Yeah, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't me. That was your phone. No, never. Okay. okay. Oh, you know what? We didn't even press record. <laughs> Where is our head today? <laughs> We're so excited to talk to you guys that we forgot to press record. Cut, okay, get ready. Cut. Back to We're one. We're going to press record. Back to one. <laughs> it won't be a blooper because we didn't record it. All right. Nothing to bloop. Wow. Okay. Uh, yes, take two. Thank you. <laughs> Real racy Stacy. All right. I, I don't want to be touching this, though. Take two of 23. If I touch the cord, it makes all this weird noise. Whoops. Okay. All right. All right. Good? Yes. Now we're good. All, all right. right. Ready? Good. 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 Tell me yeah. action. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. What are you hold doing? Hold on one second. Oh. <laughs> hold on. We, we have a work thing. Too much excitement. I know. We're almost ready. We're almost ready, guys. All right. Hold on. Kids. Okay. Hold on. Do you have to respond? Yes, I do. Hold okay. on. Hold on, we're responding to a work email. This is this is why we can go anywhere and still be at work. Yay! Uh, what else can I show you guys? Ooh, I can show you this while he's doing that. So this is a lovely, an, uh, an annual, not an annual pass holder, a um, squirrel. <laughs> that is a really cool lanyard that only Disney cast members can get, but I was given one. It was very exciting. And then the Food and Wine Festival, which I will talk about, uh, will be, uh, <laughs> oh, how's the cosplay coming? It's very good. Here, this is the Food and Wine Festival pass that we got. That's pretty cool. And I will talk about this on this episode. I did not get a cardboard ray. I don't know what that is. All right, That's waiting okay. on you. All right, I'm ready. Waiting on you. I'm waiting on you to switch it back to our notes. It's been recording. Oh, good. All right. Oh, yeah. Cindy Mini, thank you for catching the episode on Periscope. Yay. All right. All righty. And yes. take three. Two and a half. All right. This is what you can look forward to on episode 116 of Skywalking Through Neverland. Hey, hey, Skywalkers, and happy Force Awakens Blu-ray DVD release day. Woo! <laughs> we went to our Target. And we got a copy. I can't wait. But before we get into all that, we want to thank you for joining us on Skywalking, Skywalking Through, Through Neverland. Neverland. And welcome to all the new Skywalkers out there who are just joining us for the first time. And hey, hey to all the Periscopers right out there. And of course, we want to welcome back all the vintage. Classic. Retro. Old school. Veteran. 
first generation. Skywalkers. <laughs> <laughs> to our family-friendly Star Wars Disney podcast that brings you entertaining stories from creators and fans. And as a preview of things to come... We did record... Oh, you know what we did that last week? That was supposed to be a note that should have been erased. Oops! That yeah. was last week's notes. Yes, it was. Thanks, Hoojibs. Team Hoojib is in the house. Yay! Team Hoojibs are always in the house. Ninja bot. Okay. This is Richard, and everyone, please say hello to my sweetie wife, Sarah. Hey, hey, everyone! Oh, there's lots of hearts on Periscope. Thank you, guys. Yay! I am excited because we... Well, it's... Okay. Bleh, bleh. Take two. I know. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, I, let me, let me uh, leave yes, you in there. Yes, leave me okay. in. Thank you. Ready? All right. This is Richard, and everyone, please say hello to my sweetie wife, Sarah. Yay, it's me, and I'm excited to watch The Force Awakens in my own home. In our own home. I'm so excited. But first, I want to welcome all you Skywalkers, and we love it when you tweet at us during the show, or you're watching on Periscope during the show. So... If you want to follow us, please follow us at Skywalking Pod and tweet at us and watch us. And it's really fun. And people are always commenting. We have hello from the sunshine, sh hello from the sunshine state from Star Wars fan FL. So yay, hello, and hello from everyone. Yeah, I'm loving this Periscope thing. I know it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, Go Mouse Scouts just invited followers. Thank you, Go Mouse Scouts. Yay. <laughs> well, we are recording this from Long Beach, California, on April the fifth. Force Awakens release day, right? 2016. Awesome. Well, release day in terms of Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS. Mm -hmm. Blu-ray day. I like it. Blu-ray day. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Joey Pittman. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for everyone for giving us the ideas last week about the Eclipse Notes countdown. Oh, yes. Yeah, we've got to mention that. because we were totally missing some For things. some reason, I, I didn't think about adding on the... Celebration Europe? Yeah. Well, I know why. Well, yeah, because we're not going, but we're excited for all you Skywalkers who are going, and so we need to put it in our Cliff's Notes countdown. Yeah, it was more of a psychological thing that we left it out. Yeah, I but think so. <laughs> it'll go in next time. Yes. And then also we were given the idea about putting the Rancho Obi-Wan charity event, which is going to happen in November. Yes. So they moved it away from Halloween weekend. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And now they're going to do it. In November. And I believe that it'll be the actual five-year anniversary, like on that day. That's what I heard, of Rancho Obi-Wan starting. Rancho Obi-Wan or the fact that they've opened it up to the public? Because look at it, there, there's... No, just Rancho Obi-Wan itself. Okay. Yeah, because I know opening to the public, it hasn't been that long. No, see, th those are our uh, badges right over there from Rancho Obi-Wan. And that was uh, 2011. Wow. 12, 13, 14. Oh my gosh, that it is has 16 been five, years. Five what? years. Has it been that long since we've been there? Where's time going? Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> well, well, we'll definitely have to make it this year. Yes. All right. Now, we're going to reach out to you Skywalkers once again. We're going to do a new segment on Skywalking Through Neverland called Skywalker, Skywalker Super, Super Silly Secret. Secret. <laughs> Oops. I'll take this one, okay? <laughs> okay. Now, we're reaching out to you Skywalkers again. We're going to do a new segment called Skywalker Super Silly Secret Talents. Or Skywalker Super Secret... Uh-oh. That's See? hard to say fast. <laughs> like that, there's a talent right there. I, uh, yeah. We can say it fast. <laughs> Skywalker Super Silly Secret Talents. Yeah. Now, so this is where you get to showcase one of your many super secret silly talents here on Skywalking Through Neverland. Do you have a, a Disney, Star Wars, Marvel talent that you want to share with us? That is audio friendly. Yeah. <laughs> like, can you make it a perfect BB-8 noise? Ooh. Can you sing a Disney song backwards? <laughs> maybe, re maybe you can reenact a scene from the Avengers doing everyone's voices, but with Italian accents? <laughs> Something. Anything. Yeah, anything you want. Reach out and let us know, and we'll put you on a future segment. That's right. So... Email us, share at skywalkingthroughneverland.com. Yeah, we, we've met a lot of people with all these super, with these silly talents. It's like, we, we got to build a whole segment around that. Yeah. So, anyone on Periscope, do you guys have any super secret, se <laughs> super secret silly talent? I think that rolls off the tongue better than super silly secret. So, super secret silly talents? Super secret. Super Secret Silly Talents. Super Secret Silly Talents. That's I like right. that. Okay. Let's well, change that. Okay. Change it later on. Okay. 
All right. Press the I Press well. the I am group. Group. I am Groot. Chewbacca imitation. Press to digitation. All right. Ooh. All right. So wait, getting wait, a lot of ideas come, right now. Does that come from bed knobs and broomsticks? What? Press to digitation. That's a um, a magic term. It is. Yes. Okay. Well, they they use a a term like that in bed knobs and broomsticks. Well, I'm sure they do. Yes. All right. Now, with that said, and I hope you guys really respond to this because there's so many fun things out there that you guys can do, and and I'm just uh, disappointed that we hadn't gathered all these people when we had the chance. Okay. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of people with really crazy, silly talents out there. <laughs> All right, people keep referring to Jay Underwood. Who, what's, who's that? That's a, he, was, he was an old friend of mine. Oh. Uh, we used to do uh, parties together, and he became an actor. He was in Fantastic Four. He, oh. He was in the Roger Corman Fantastic Four. This is because you know everyone. That's, well, that's very true. You live in L.A., <laughs> and you know everybody. And, and that, was that Michael Nip who was referring to believe, Jay Underwood? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you stories, Michael, someday. I'll tell you stories. <laughs> now, why don't you tell everyone what's coming up on this episode of Skywalking Through Neverland? Well, we talk with Craig Miller. Now, he was the publicist and director of fan relations for Lucasfilm during their heyday of the 70s and 80s. So it was super exciting to get to talk with him. He was the pre-Steven Sansweet yes. back in the 70s and 80s. And, oh, what a great time we had talking to him. Yeah, it was like... So, what, so nearly much fun. an hour of yeah. conversation? Yeah, oh, and great. for those of you who had gone to WonderCon, he had done a great panel called Star Wars and Fandom of the 70s. Mm -hmm. And I just had so much fun because there were so many questions I, I had to ask him. So I'll, that was a really fun conversation. Oh, you know what? Ring? Now my phone's ringing, but you know, that's okay. I'll put it on silent. Okay. They'll call back if it's that important. <laughs> All right. And... Who else got the DVD? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stop calling. <laughs> Don't you know we're recording? I know. All right. So who out there got the Force Awakens DVD Blu-ray this morning? My hand is raised. Your hand is mine raised. Too, I'm sure. Mine too. I'm sure at this point everyone's hand is raised. <laughs> so now, what did you people? <clears throat> so now, what did you Skywalkers think of this as a whole? Well, we review the bonus features with Skywalker and blog writer and fellow Long Beach residents, Drew Kaplan and Neetson Harrell. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing her name wrong. We'll ask her when she gets here. Yes. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to look at all of the extra bonus features and give our, our spin on it and our take, either yay or nay. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, we already watched all of them. <laughs> Thank you to a fellow Skywalker. Who... Yes, yes. Yeah. But All right. We're going to save our critiques until later on. That's true. Well, also on this episode, we have shout outs, Skywalker of the Week, of course, and we also have things we want to share. Things we want to share. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Things we want to share. Ba -da -ba -da -da. <laughs> okay, are we right. ready? Yeah, let's roll into this now. All right. Oh, am I going first? Yes. Well, I want to share that we attended the DCA Food and Wine Festival. I was so excited that this is reopened at Disney's California Adventure. And it's going through the month of April, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays in the month of April. And so what it really is, is <laughs> that we, we have basically some booths set up in the middle of DCA. And each of them has about three different items you can get. So you can get kind of a main course, a side dish, and a dessert. And you also have celebrity chefs. There are certain events that you can just watch chefs make different foods and describe how they do them, just like, you know, the cooking channel. But then there's also some purchasing events. Like you can purchase uh, celebrity chef demonstrations and things. Now, we're not that into food, so we did not purchase any of those. However, we did go, and we went, and we tried some of the food, and we tried some of the beer, and some of the wine, because I'm a lush. <laughs> so, what we have, let's see, so they, basically it's kind of food and wine from California, is what they're celebrating here. That was the theme? I, yeah, that was I didn't the theme. Get that. Yeah, so you have these six different booths that are kind of right down the middle. Like if you go on Buena Vista Street and keep walking down toward Cars Land, the booths are all set up there. And you have LA Style booth, 
you have Gold Rush, you have The Farm, you have Wine Country, you have Viva Fresca, and By the Bay. Now, what about this really excited you? Because I know you were talking about this for a long time. Well, I, I love wine tasting. And to me, it's kind of a different, it's just like a form of wine tasting mm -hmm. to me. So at each of these uh, different booths, you can also get uh, wine pairings. And of course, you have to pay, you know, per what you get. But <laughs> it's, it's all good. We, we love it. Or I love it. So that, it's, it's like a me thing, even though, yeah. Okay. I just, I just really like it. So like when we went and we'd had the, you can get like a tasting of six different beers. And we went and we didn't like like two of them. Uh, but we liked one of them really much. So I made a note and I took a picture of the name of that beer. So when I next go back, I'll just get a glass of that particular beer. I won't have to taste anymore. It's like, all right, I found what I want. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just like it. It exposes you to new things. All right. New things are good. Yeah. And if you're an annual pass holder, there's some nice perks. Uh, at the Blue Sky Cellar, you can go in there and get a free button. Which I we should show of, you guys. We got a lot of free buttons. Here. We kept going back and grabbing them. Yeah. So we might use them. Oh, they're right here. Oh. No, no, those are not. Those are not the food and wine ones. Hold on, she's getting the buttons. You know, the more you do this, the more I got to edit out. I know. I'm sorry. So only annual pass holders can go to the Blue Sky Cellar and you show them your annual pass and they they scan it in and you get a free button, 2.25 inch, and it's really nice design here. I think there's a new button every week, so very yeah, exciting. The next time we have a Skywalker meetup, we'll have to give these away as the prizes because yes. well, I did the whole misdirection thing. Hey, look over there and grab two more. Yeah, it's true. And we also get a recipe card, which is cute. This one is fried baby artichokes, and I think there will be new recipe cards every week. And once again, this is going through April, every weekend in April, Friday through Sunday only. So what I need to do is bring some girlfriends there, and we need to go hit each booth and drink. Okay. Because it's fun. Someone has asked if we did meetups. Oh, we do lots of meetups. We do. In fact, if you head to our... Facebook page, Skywalking Through Neverland, and click on events, you'll see a meetup coming up at Walt Disney World. After that, we haven't any meetups planned yet for Disneyland, but, you know, if, if you're going to be in town, let us know, uh, at least a week, like about a week in advance, and we can try to plan to meet usually you. plan them around film releases or birthdays. Yeah. So watch on our Skywalking Through Neverland page or listen to the, to the show, and we always tell people well in advance when and where we're going to meet. Yes. You know what? While we're on the subject, you want to tell people once again about our Walt Disney World meetup? Yes. Hold on. There's a plane going by. There is. <laughs> All right. So now, just in case that didn't come out, I'm going to retake that. So okay. now, while we're on the subject, so now while we're on the subject, you want to tell people about our next meetup just next weekend. Yes, I will. We have a Skywalking Through Neverland and Fangirls Going Rogue listener meetup on Sunday, April 17th, I believe. And that's from 2 to 3 p.m. at Jacques Lindsay's Hangar Bar in Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. So we're very excited about that. And we want to meet you guys. We're going to bring some swag. We're going to bring some buttons. And we're all going to meet up. And Trisha Bar is going to be there, too. So, But, it, yeah, it'll be a really fun meetup. Well, yeah, Chick Fent will be there. Yes. I think yes. Matt Clifton said he was going to be there. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, Kevin Rayner. Kevin, uh, he was trying to. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there's, there's the, a bunch who the will be there. The Yes, I will be there as a Chick Fent. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, good deal. And, and also from Russell Flores. Oh, yeah. My parents. <laughs> and we'll so, be there, too. Yeah, we'll be there, too. Yay, so it's a great way to meet Skywalkers. Uh, we're going to try to take over that back patio of Jock Lindsay's. Which... This is the Indiana Jones-themed restaurant. Yes, which we wanted to check out anyway, so we're super excited. I'm not sure why they're calling it Jock's. Just calling, calling, let's call it Indies. Indies, yeah. Yeah, come on. Well, Cut there's the a whole story behind it. That... I know, but 99% of the people who walk in there are never going to know. Uh, well, they'll never know that backstory. Okay. I'm sorry. That's just me. All right. So, what else do you want to share this week? Oh. Uh... Where do, where's the thing I want to share? Oh, okay. 
Say it, leave me in again. Okay. So what else do you want to share this week? Well, I want to share that we just signed up this morning for the Superheroes Half Marathon, the Doctor Strange 10K. So we didn't actually sign up for the Half Marathon this time. We're kind of saving a little money and just doing the Doctor Strange 10K because, for one thing, it's a new theme. Yes. So we have to try the new things, and then we don't want to get up two mornings in a row really no, early. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> so we're going to take it easy for the Star Wars, or for the... Superheroes Half Marathon this year. I'm excited. And you, you were saying that this this particular race sold mm -hmm. out immediately. Uh, well, this morning in particular was the AP signups. So it was the early registration signups. Uh, so they only release like a certain percentage of the tickets for yeah. the early signups. If we weren't to get in this morning, we would have been able to do it next week. However, uh, since, since it was available and since I was on the dot of 9 a.m. Pacific... We got our 10K registrations. Mrs. Reb W asked, who puts that on? Uh, the Run Run Disney. The Run Disney. So it'll be held yeah. over there at Disneyland. Disneyland. Uh, yes. Uh, and it's it's run by Disney. You know, Run Disney. We've actually spoken with uh, some Run Disney representatives before. Yeah, so it's all, all Disney run, all Disney themed. Yeah. And I just can't wait for the, the whole Doctor Strange theme. I know. It'll be, it'll be exciting. So, now, uh, speaking, speaking of cosplaying for, well... You wave now. Okay. But for this coming up, but for this Star Wars marathon coming up in, on March 15th. The Dark Side Challenge. Who are we going to go as? Oh, well. Who are we going to cosplay as? We're, we're going to cosplay for at least one run. Of, we're going to cosplay for at least one of the races as Crimson Jack. Crimson Jack. You are. And, and Jackson. Yeah. So we're going to represent classic Marvel Star Wars comics. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So we spent the day yesterday making our, our costumes, which is how I got this boo-boo. Yeah. Ouch. Glue guns and, and flesh, mm -hmm. not a good mixture. Yeah. Not at all. So, anything else? Yeah, I wanted to mention that while I was checking out the Food and Wine Festival for the very first time, I was by myself. You weren't able to make it, but luckily, I met, I ran into the Allison. So, Tommy, Lena, and Chris Allison, who, Tommy does the Diz Geek podcast, so does Chris, and Tommy also does the, uh, what is it called? The... The Cruise? The Cruise. Uh, Tommy also does the Cruise Dudes podcast. So, it was really fun to run into them, so I got to eat and drink with them, and Jeff Long was also in town with his girlfriend, Tesh, and his daughter, Jamie. So we were super excited to meet up with them. Do you know how Jeff got here to Disneyland? He drove? He won a trip. Oh, because <laughs> he wins everything. He wins everything. <laughs> he didn't really win a trip, but I, if I were to uh, be a betting man, I would bet that he won the trip to Disneyland. I know. It's so funny. Uh, that Jeff Long. Yes. One of our good friends. So, Jeff, love you, buddy. And now before you have things you want to share... I have to take a little break really quick. Where are you going? Really quick. Really quick break. I'll be right back. She's got to use the girls' room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so she's going to be for the race uh, Jackson, and I'm going to be uh, Crimson Jack, and it's going to be really, really fun. We've been shopping pretty much the last couple of days for our costume pieces, and it's going to be very, very wacky, very, very, very fun, and very comic bookish. Yes, he is taking a potty break. I'm telling everyone to take it. Hey, you know what? Let's bring the recorder in there. Wash your hands. She's washing her hands. What, sweetie? I said it, all the periscopers are now taking a potty break, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I don't, we found one pair of bunny ears, but I think I'll just make my own with some, uh, what, wire... What are they called? Coat hangers? Wire coat hangers, yes. No, the bathroom is uh, is aerial themed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we take you in there, but something's got to remain yeah. private. Plus, we haven't cleaned it yet. <laughs> okay, so now, what are some things you want to share? Well, some good with the bad. Okay. The good, we saw Jungle Book. Yay! Oh my goodness. Yeah, we, we can't say too much about it, but we what we can say is it's awesome. Yes. 
It's really, really good. And this is one of the movies that I thought, yeah, if we see it, we see it. We don't, we don't. But we were blown away. Yeah, John Favreau, he was really one of the elements that, that he was the reason why I wanted to see this. Mm -hmm. Because, it, did you ever see Zathora? Who? Zathora, that was his first film. No. First directorial debut. Great, great film. And of course, there's Iron Man. And he's just, he's just a great director. And Chef. Which yep. we haven't seen yet, but yes, mm -hmm. he actually referenced Chef in the in the press conference I went to. All right, well, Jungle Book is, is fantastic. It's mm -hmm. it has a great crossover from the uh, animated film to the live action film, and everything is just just perfect, and the effects perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we saw the preview at D twenty three Expo. I thought, yeah, talking animals. Yeah, we weren't sure if we were going to be comfortable watching that, but he actually uses that, or they actually use it to their advantage, and there's some really funny moments because of those talking and animals. Those animals, they, they look so real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really wanted to pet... Um, <laughs> Bagheera. Bagheera. Yeah. Yeah, very. Uh, it's a, once again a great film, not to be missed, and on our next episode, we'll, we'll go into more detail. Yeah. Nice. But the little boy was good, and everything was, was really good. At the end, there's something in the credits that, you, uh, when you read it, you'll see why we're we're making a point of it now. There's not a, a tag, mm -hmm. like in the Marvel movies. That's only a Marvel thing. But there's a funny line in the end, like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh. Mrs. Rep W says she meant Baloo at Animal Kingdom. And I was kind of worried about Bill Murray doing Baloo, because I thought, oh, it's going to sound like Peter Venkman. Mm -hmm. But no, he does it so, so well that you forget it's Bill Murray. That's one of the greatest things you can say about an actor taking on, on a beloved role. Yes. Like, oh, I'm not going to see Baloo. I'm just going to hear Bill Murray. But no, not at all. Yeah, and then what they did with the music was really interesting. If you're very familiar with the soundtrack to the original Jungle Book, uh, you know, it actually begins with that actual soundtrack, which I thought was interesting. And then, you know, some of the songs translate to the music, like they sing them, and some, you know, they leave out or do not. But there are fun references in the soundtrack to the songs. So be be on the listen for that as you're watching that film. Yes? Yeah. All right, now... There can be no good without a little sadness. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm sure all the Star Wars fans out there know that we just suffered another great loss in the Star Wars universe when Eric Bowersfeld, the voice of Admiral Ackbar and Bib Fortuna, he died on April the 3rd at the age of 93 of natural causes at his home in Berkeley, California. Berkeley? Berkeley, yeah. Yeah, and I am so glad that I had met him a year ago at Star Wars Celebration. I'd be so bummed if I hadn't met him. In fact, he was the only one there I was really interested in. I remember you talking about him. In, in talking to. Yeah, you were like, you so wanted to talk with him and hopefully record him, which... Yeah, which, which we did. We did. And we'll play a little bit of the audio in, in just a second. But, but also go to episode 80, I believe. Yes, yeah, episode 80. Show. Yes. Yeah, now this was... I. I wanted to get some kind of a sound bite from him or just talk to him, but his manager kept pushing us away, pushing us away, and we had the recorder going, so you, you can you can hear him in the background going, Diawana Wunga, and <laughs> it's a trap. Aww. But uh, I just we just couldn't get anything other than that because of that that manager, manager or whoever the handler. I don't know what his deal was, but I want to talk to that guy. Yeah. Now, do you know why? There's always been a question about why It's a Trap is so popular. Oh, why? <laughs> Sorry, he just asked a question. Who was, was he the voice of Akbar yes. in TFA? Yes, he was the... Eric Bowersfeld was the voice of Admiral Akbar in The Force Awakens. And I verified that. Even though it says it in the credits, I thought, you know what? Let me go and check out some things here. Because even though Kenny Baker is giving credit in the prequels for R2. Yeah, he was barely there. Okay. But they just wanted to give a give a, a, shout, out. a shout out to him in, in tribute to him. But Eric Bowersfeld, I thought, we talked to him. He, he had a hard time uh, putting together a coherent sentence. But yeah. the guy, guy's 93. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I was curious. So I asked David Collins, you know, was, was that Eric Bowersfeld who really did the voice of Admiral Ackbar? He said, yeah, that was him. Oh. So fantastic. Wow. I'm so glad they, they brought him back for that. And I love Tom Kane's Admiral Ackbar, but you need the real, the real Admiral Ackbar. I agree. I'm nodding my head, and then I realize that you guys can't see me. Now, people always say, why is It's a Trap so popular? Why is that, that one quote just so big? And I, I've got a theory, and, and maybe all of the first-generation fans out there, they can back me up or say, no, I don't think so. Because when we saw the trailer for Revenge of the Jedi, we saw Luke, Han, Leia, R2, 3PO, Chewie, Vader, all of our old friends. But then here comes this new character, and uh -huh. he says, it's a trap. Okay. So I think that's why it really... In the trailer? In the Revenge of the Jedi trailer, which was the, very, it was the teaser trailer, which is why I think this quote really resonated with fans, because it was a new character just saying something as short and dramatic as, it's a trap. Yeah, I think it's how he says it, almost. Because yeah. as Darth Texas was bringing up, Leia also says it in Empire. Remember? Yeah, but... It's a trap! Right, Luke. but hers is kind of buried in the in the in the mix. Yeah, as Whereas there's he laser bolts. Yeah, he gets a, a a full close up, and you know this new character. It's a trap. It's like, uh oh, what's what's going down? And it's a funny voice. So. And I think because it's a, it was such a, a new, interesting looking character that really just resonated with people. Mm -hmm. You know the popularity of Admiral Akbar. He's, he's taking on cult status, and fans at the University of Mississippi they tried to get Admiral Akbar as their new mascot for oh. Ole Miss, which oh, is wow. their, their football team. So they're originally the Ole Miss Rebels? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Yes. So they thought, you know what, if we need to do a, an, an update, let's get Admiral Akbar. <laughs> so all the students got together and, and did a, a student vote, and, and this, was, this was back in 2010, but the uh, Lucasfilm stepped in and said, mm, mm, um, thanks, but... Admiral Ackbar is out saving the galaxy. Oh. Now, here's a, a fun teaser trailer. Here's a fun commercial put together by ESPN regarding Admiral Ackbar as the new mascot for Ole Miss. Nice. All right. Agent of the Bat, welcome. We are a Star Wars Disney podcast. Yes. <laughs> we are in the middle of recording. Okay. So it wasn't meant to be, but alas, they got their... Their new mascot, Rebel the Black Bear. Aww. <laughs> I guess a little bit easier costume to find. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the legend of Admiral Akbar continues, and, and uh, we hear Sky walking through Neverland. Well, we miss you, Eric Bowersfeld, and, yes. and thank you for all you've done for the Star Wars community. I have a quick question, though. Okay. Uh, for Bib Fortuna, was he actually in the costume no. as well? Okay, he just did the, the voice. Yeah, the actor in the costume was Michael Carter. Okay. And then he did the voice okay. of Bib Fortuna, which I never knew until a couple of years ago. Huh. So very, very interesting, and, and uh, I'm so glad he was able to come back for Akbar in The Force Awakens. Roll clip. All right, you guys will hear that when you listen to our show. All righty. So, you know what? I think we should wrap it up there. Yeah. Because now we get into the body of the show. Yes, so we've already recorded this part. So, everyone on Periscope, thank you so much for watching. Did you guys all know that Eric Bowers fell passed away? That was... Uh, was... It was going around the internet a lot yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping... I, I just didn't want to... Oh. Yes and no. Oh. I didn't want to just say he passed away and that was it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I gave enough of a, of a history behind Akbar as well as... As uh, Eric Bowers felt as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Justin learned it from us yesterday. Darth Texas' his wife is sick. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, everyone. Take a fancy. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Thanks for being awesome, too. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did not. Now reading all your comments. I know. All right. Bye. All right. Later. <laughs>